Hi everyone, you may know me as Shade, Rady12 Smitty, or Essentials Master. This is my new page on YouTube I made for teaching you guys how to make your very own Pokemon game. First of all, this will be an 8 part tutorial that will be teaching you all different kinds of things, and hopefully helping you be able to make your own Pokemon game, no matter how much computer experience you have. First of all, you will need a Windows computer, which I have right here and that is just your basic engine that you have to run. I'm using Windows 7, but Vista, XP, anything should work fine. So this will be an eight part tutorial. This one video will be covering parts one and two, getting started and RPG Maker XP basics. So I'm gonna open up the internet first of all, and the first thing you need to do is type in RPG Maker XP and search that. and it'll come up as the first link RPG Game Maker, RPG Maker XP, just click on that and this is the program you're going to want to download it is a thirty dollar program if you want to buy it permanently or else if not you can just download the free trial version which is a thirty day trial if you really don't want to pay you can probably just download the free trial, get the code, activate it and then download it again when that runs out and you can just keep doing that but you're going to have to keep transferring your files over it's probably the easiest just to buy the program for just thirty dollars that's what I did and I use it pretty much daily so it was well worth the money and after you've downloaded that the icon looks like this RPG Maker XP and then once that's finally downloaded you wanna go back into the internet and you're gonna google Pokemon Essentials and the first link will say Pokemon Essentials Wiki now you're really going to want to um, bookmark this page as you'll be coming back here a ton as all kinds of information on the program and stuff that I most likely won't cover in my tutorials I'm going to be covering pretty much the basics and how to make a game but this has a lot more on how everything works but you're going to want to come over here where it says downloads Sorry, it really doesn't take this long. I'm running Windows on my Mac, so it's running a bit slower. But here it will have all the different releases that it's come out with from version 1 up to the latest, which as of now is 7. If you're watching this later, I would recommend downloading whatever the newest one is, whether it's 8, 9, still 7, whatever. And you can get it from Mediafire or Deposit Files. Here it has a big list of all the stuff they've added in this version. But I use Mediafire as it's the easiest for me and you just want to skip the ad from leaving the wiki and it'll bring you to the website where you're going to download it from and download it, it's not too big of a file don't have to worry about taking up space and then you download restart and here it is, you just want to save it it's going to come up as an RAR file which will lead you to something else if you don't already have this or another program in order to open up the um, folder you're actually gonna have to download something called 7-zip file manager this is what I use it's the easiest 7-zip.org download it's really easy to use and this is it right here and this is where you're gonna need to use to open up the file I actually already have one downloaded, but I'm just showing you. It will be a. It, if you have 7 zip, it will show up as a 7z file. But once it finishes downloading, I'm just going to use the one that's already downloaded. I'm just going to double click on it, and 7 zip will pop up. You're going to take the folder and just drag it onto your desktop. I actually already have one on my desktop, so I'm going to rename it as my tutorial folder. Oh. That actually won't let you do that. So I'm gonna have to, yeah, I'm just gonna have to drag it off as it is. And that really doesn't take too long. And I already have a folder. I do not want to merge it. I can exit out of everything. And I'm not sure where the newest one went. Uh, right here. Okay, so here's your Pokemon Essentials folder. Now I'm going to give it a new name. 
just so I don't confuse her with anything else. And if you open up this folder, there should be a bunch of good stuff in there. There will be five folders. This is data for the game. And then there's some other little programs that you will never use that's just for the game to use. There's an editor and then the actual game. Here's a link to the Pokemon Essentials wiki that I told you to bookmark before. And I will go over all this stuff later. But you can just exit out of the folder then. And now you're going to want to open up RPG Maker XP. And you want to go to File, Open, and hit Desktop, or wherever you put the folder that you just downloaded. Oh, Desktop. And I called mine the Tutorial folder. So you just open up the folder, and these should come up. If you've added other stuff inside the folder already, that might show up too. But you just want to click on the game and open that. And it will show up with this test map. And I believe it's called Test Map 2. And this is how the program is going to look. Now that we've finally gotten started, I'm going to get around to part two of the tutorial, which is RPG Maker XP Basics. So I'm going to go over some of the toolbars first. Up here is the basic computer toolbars that it has in pretty much every program. File, New Project, Open Project, Close Project, Save Project. You can guess what those do. It's really easy to use. Compressed Game Data is the last thing you'll ever do. That is what puts everything you've made together into a new folder for your game that you can then put up and have others play. Then an edit. These are for map making, which I'll get to in the next few tutorials. There's an undo button, a cut button, a copy button, paste button, delete for editing parts of the map that this shows up here. Then there's view. These are the layers of the map, which are also right here. I'll get to that in map making as well. Mode. This is with the layers. Draw, this is for making the map actually. Scale is for how big the map shows up as. It's at 1m1, or half, it makes it a lot smaller. And 1 fourth, that is mainly for really big outdoor maps that you want to see all of while you're working on them. Then here's some tools. These will be more in the later tutorials as you do not even need to open them really for basic games. And then for game, you can play a test of your game change the title of the actual game and you will not need to use these two but I'm gonna change the title from Pokemon Essentials to tutorial game and then help you can search all different kinds of stuff in RPG Maker for how stuff works and then this toolbar here is what you'll be using a lot the new save open are all right here as well and all the edit buttons are here too including undo now these are the layers. The first layer, these are for map making. The first layer is what goes down first. This is the floor and the back wall on this map. So you can see they're brighter than everything else. The layer one is what's on the absolute bottom of the map. So everything that everything else goes on top of. Then layer two is the second button. That is all kinds of stuff that goes on top of the floor, which is layer one. So like there's the rug here, which is on top of the floor couch, some cushions, these tables, and these computers and vending machine are all on layer 2, plus the door frames. Then layer free, 3 is for stuff that goes on top of layer 2, like these computers go on top of the table. The events tab is a bit more complicated. You can click on that to see everything show up in the same color, so you can tell what your map's going to look like, which is this. And you can also use the events tab to actually make events which are anything that happens in the game. All these little squares you see right now are events. Then right here is how you actually make your map. These are what was from the draw toolbar. The pencil is and rectangles, eclipse, which is our oval, fill, and select. I'll get to those in map making. Here are your view buttons again. And then these are the um, tools section again and the play test. And for over here, we have your tile set that you're currently using. The tile set will be um, talked about a lot more in the next um, tutorial I have. So you can see these are all the indoor tiles that it has right now. So to change this map, I could take any of these by selecting them and put them in here. Down in the lower left-hand corner 
it has all the maps that are currently in your game you can have maps within maps that just keep you more organized okay. the intro map is what the introduction of the game is you know where oak comes up and talks to you in the beginning you can change that later but it's where you type in your person's name pick if you're a boy or a girl that's all through this event which i'll get to later and then so test map this is just a pretty basic map it's outdoor not really much to see there was a daycare that they made inside of a cave but that's pretty much you just click on a map to open it it's pretty much all there is here and that pretty much concludes my first tutorial of RPG Maker XP basics and getting started the next tutorial will be talking about tiles which is part three how to use the database and the game folder which we'll talk a lot about PBS files, which is things that you can change, like the different Pokemon that appear in the game and stuff like that. Thank you for watching. I'll have the next video up shortly.